Good morning carpers and welcome back to my channel. Yes, we are here at the iconic Manor Farm for the Monster Particle Social. Um, <sighs> weather's crap. Absolutely crap. Um, it's supposed to be raining the whole time that we're here. Um, one good thing is the pressure is low. So they will be on the bottom. Um, I know the lake has been fishing really hard. Uh, only a handful of fish have come out lately, so it's going to be hard going. But we bought plenty of bait, we bought a different variety of bait. So yeah, it's uh, 20 to 8 now, we're supposed to be meeting at 8 o'clock to have a little walk around and do a draw. Um, I've, I've never fished this before, but I've been doing loads of research and there's a few pegs that I'd like to fish, or should fish. Um, but yeah, uh, Took me just over two two hours forty minutes to get here from Essex. Absolutely buzzing to fish this. Right, well, I'm gonna get my coat on, go to the toilet, maybe have a little look round. I'll see you soon. Well, carpers, that didn't quite go to plan. Come out fifteenth in the draw, so. All the pegs have been taken, all the decent pegs have been taken. So yeah, decided to go in peg six, but once I got to peg six, it's literally right next to peg five. Um, no offence to the person in peg five, but I like fishing on my own, so I'm going to see if I can uh, move, because I know there's two pegs spare. Right, I'll keep posted. See you later. Oh well, Carbus, decided to stay in this swim, as you can see, that's peg five. There's peg six, you can see how close they are. We've got um, a fairly decent bit of water. Um, I've got all down this side, a few margin spots down here. Probably going to stick one down there and two out there on the spot. I'm going to find a nice, a nice clean spot so I can present two, two rods on it. But yeah, we're at 48 hours till two o'clock on Sunday. But, I think I'm going to stay an extra 24. Uh, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, if my plan works, um, I can jump in a decent swim for the remaining 24 hours. You know, before everyone else comes on. So, hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll have to uh, talk to the bailiff or someone. So yeah, hopefully I can get in a decent peg. I'm not saying this isn't a decent peg, but you know, if there is a peg that's producing, it'd be nice to have first dibs to get in there. Well, as you can see, it's raining, it's absolutely pouring, it's so miserable, and apparently it's going to get worse. So, I've been trying to hold off to try and wait for the rain to die down so I can get my bivvy up, but it's not holding up. Right, I will see you later, carpers. Stay safe, tight lines. Wow, this rain is relentless. Managed to get all my rods out. Them two left hand rods got on the same spot. About 13 wraps. Didn't find any gravel spots, but I was looking for some softy, silty spots. So I uh, found a nice big one over there so I can present two rods. Spotted out, I don't know, three, four kilo of spot mix. I'll go through that tomorrow and show you. But yeah, both fish with a yellow pop-up. One on the nuts banana. One on the pear drops. That right hand rod, I just chucked up the margin, literally seven wraps. Found a nice gravel spot off that, so obviously a fish have been feeding there. Yeah, probably five spums and probably 30, 40. Boilies and uh, wicked, wicked white wafter on there. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna uh, get all my wet gear off and get some food. To go and probably have a little sleep because I've been up since half three this morning and I'm so tired. So yeah, gonna cook some food, have a little kip, and I'll speak to you later. See you later, guys.
Good evening carpers. Well, I feel absolutely nice and fresh after that little two hour kip. Had something to eat and literally fell asleep straight away. I uh, feel lovely now. As you can see, unfortunately, it is still raining. I did check the weather app and it says the weather's going to be like this till Monday morning. So not good. Not seen any fish over my spots. Um, apparently, the left hand side of the lake, there's been quite a few fish topping. Uh, but no fish has come out for this session so far for any of them. But over the far past couple of weeks, there's been a, a few big fish out. Kempe's Lenny has come out two or three times between. 49 and 50 pound or 51 pound and a few other decent sized fish and apparently there's a few big ones that are due out this time of year so it's not all bad like I say guys um, if I don't have nothing in this peg up until Sunday I will be moving onto a better peg for the remaining 24 hours Right, if I don't see you tonight, I will see you tomorrow in the morning with a brew. See you later guys, stay safe. Good morning carpers. No fish to be had for me, but a few fish have been out. There's been a, a few 20s, a high 20 and there's been a 38 and also has been a perch on a zig so they're coming out which is good um, although I said yesterday that I wasn't in quite a good area or you know wasn't happy with it geezer to my left and the geezer to my right have caught fish so fingers crossed got another 48 hours no, more than 48 hours got about another 56 hours maybe yeah stay tuned guys because we're going to go through my spod mix we're also going to go through some new things that are coming out from monster particle so stay tuned for that also I don't know in this one or the next one we'll be talking about a few things that mad baits are bringing out new so stay tuned I'm going to get some food, I'm going to watch the water, hopefully this rain stops, see you later. Good morning carpers, just thought we'd go through my uh, spod mix that I've got, as you can see there, we've got all sorts in there, we've got hemp, all from Monster, Monster Particle, we've got a hemp, maize, corn, uh, boilies of my choice which I'm going further the nuts and the whites, my mad baits, also got some chopped up peanuts in there. Yeah, so what I've been doing guys is putting in five kilos of hemp and maize for Monster Particle and because I know they like a lot of corn in here I've gone for some different varieties so other than the maize I've also gone for some frozen corn from the local Lidl's and also know, it's gone for is some tin sweet corn just 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 so just so we've got some different textures of corn. Uh, chucking in some whole boilies, nuts and whites. I'm chucking in some halves as well. There you go, some halves look. Also, 
chucking in some oily crumb as well. And to complement the nuts, and I know they like nuts in here, I've got some chopped up nuts that I've done at home. Literally just got some uh, peanuts from from the supermarket and literally just been chucking them in, mixing it all together with some Supreme Nut Extract Glug. Also, just for a bit of oil, some Nuts Plus Glug. Um, although it's not caught me any fish yet, we're in the right area because all the most of the fish that have come out have been my end, which is it's good to hear. Uh, just redone my rods. Um, I'm gonna spin this camera around and I'm gonna spot some of this bait out. See you in a bit. Again, carpers. Right, sorry, I had to get rid of that little, little bug on my arm. Alright, as I was saying earlier about the new monster particle stuff, alright, many of you may know that monster particle put, uh, many of you may know that monster particle is one of the leading cheapest particle brand in the UK. Um, up until now, all they have done is freezer stuff and obviously really, really fresh and their stuff is fresh. I mean, when I've had stuff been sent through the post, it's still been warm in the packaging. So, but yeah, keep an eye out guys in the shops, but they are now starting to sell shelf life, three litre tubs of particle. I believe there's a little picture there, look. Uh, it comes in uh, four different varieties. Um, I believe there's hemp, hemp and maize, hemp and peanut, um, possibly like a party mix and another one I can't quite, don't quite know at the minute. Have a look in the picture, you'll see. But yeah, not sure when they are coming out in the shops and I'm not sure on the prices, but for any of you guys out there that, uh, you know, want some want a particle but haven't got the space to you know to you know I haven't got the space to put it um yeah check out in your nearest stockist soon and um yeah get on it let me know what you think in uh coming months I'm sure it's gonna be a big hit see you later guys Good evening carpers, we are going into the second evening now, reposition that right hand rod, um, just chuck pure boilie over there, probably a kilo of boilie with a nuts wafter on there, 
Uh, not a lot's been happening today. Uh, seems like all the fish seem to want to come out during the night, early morning. Um, I know the man to my right of me and Peg Seven, he lost one earlier, but that's the only take that I know of. So yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, we're gonna bag one ourselves tonight. I'm not sure what else to try. Uh, I've been watching loads of videos on this lake and I've been doing exactly what they've been doing on them videos. You know, yellow pop-ups, pink pop-ups, big beds of bait. Um, so yeah, we will see. I know on here they are a bit spod shy. So, I mean, when I first got here, I decided to spod loads of bait out and then just sit on it. Let them come to me. I don't want to be scaring them off with a spot. But when I did reposition them two rods earlier, I did. Um, I put about five or six spawns over the top, just a little bit of a top up. But let's see what happens tonight. Um, but yeah. Hopefully, we're going to see a nice big fish. Um, be nice to catch my PB out of here, but. I will settle with just one carp. One little carp out of here I'll be happy with. All right, I'm going to sign off now because we're losing the light. Oh, fish just jumped out to the left of me. Well, I have seen a few fish jumping out. Um, I've seen a couple of fish in my swim, so um, I think tomorrow, if it's still raining, I'm going to stay in this pig for the extra 24 um, if the rain does die down and I am able to move in the dry then I'm not sure where to go I might just stick this out because a lot of fish have been coming out this end so I'd probably be stupid to fish the other end right guys See you later, stay safe, tight lines. Good morning, carpers. Yes, the weather is still terrible. And I've not had a wink of sleep all night because this wind and rain has been relentless. Um, no fish, unfortunately. Um, I do believe two or three fish come out last night for other members, um, 30, 27 and 25, so, so yeah we have decided we are going to move and we're going to go into peg 7 where majority of the fish have come out, I think he's had three or four fish and lost a couple, so that peg is producing so we are going to jump in there have a little slow pack down slow pack down in the bivvy everything's soaked all the inside is soaked probably from condensation but yeah so yeah hopefully get a little break in the rain so we can um, nip round there and um, set the bivvy up in the dry but until then see you later see you soon well carpers as you can see absolute carnage I uh, didn't get no footage of it because the weather is ridiculous and um, didn't want to get my camera wet or nothing um, yeah rod, right hand rod screamed off um, played it for a little bit got stuck in some weed uh, tried pulling it out the weed went solid um, yeah put it in the rest um, it swam out a little bit picked it up again pulled it again went solid again so put it down and I thought Do you know what I need to um, you know, I've got 18 pound line on there and big strong leader and rig so I you know, try and pull it through to put some gentle pressure on it and uh, yeah here's the photo guys nice 30 pounder 
Mana Tap. First one, absolutely buzzing. Now, I did say I was going to move into a Peg 7, but I might as well just stay in here now. I've had a fish, that's all I've come for, and what a stunning fish it is. Like I said, sorry guys, didn't get no footage of you know me talking and all that lot, but it's absolute carnage out there. Uh, I believe that come off the uh, Nuts Banana. Yeah, nut, Nuts Banana pop-up and size 4 Hobo Armour Curve Shank. Um, Ronnie Wig. Yeah, absolutely buzzing. Alright, I need to uh, dry off and get some um, get some things sorted out. And I'll see you later. Well, Carpus, this rain ain't letting up. Everything is soaked. It's, it's coming through my bivvy. Um, condensation is dripping on everything. Uh, I was going to move and then I've decided to stay. Um, but to be honest, I'm not going to be happy if I do another 24. Um, I'm going to go home. I've had a good session. Uh, I've had that £30 mirror, haven't we? I will be back. Uh, might come back during my birthday time, uh, late December. But it's been a good session. Uh, we've had one. Um, this, sorry about this video, it's not very entertaining as my usual ones because this, this rain, I just can't get out and get any footage of the lake, you know, the, the wildlife or anything, you know, it's absolutely dismal out here. But what I have got, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Um, if we get another fish before we go. Um, I will post it up here but yeah thank you guys for tuning in uh, next time probably gonna be down the cart reserve um, but in four weeks time we're at Norton Disney for the Mad Bait Social hopefully we'll have a few out of there I know they've got some uh, new waters opened up so I reckon they'll be There'll be pretty much a runs water at the minute. So yeah, looking forward to getting down there. So yeah, hope, hopefully we'll get down the cart reserve in two weeks time. Hopefully we'll bag a PB out of there. Uh, it's going to be October time, so a few big ones are due out. But anyway guys, thank you for watching this. Thank you for all your subscriptions and views. And I will see you soon. See you later.